Hi, I'm Parikha, and I'll be walking you through the StudiLink process. Registering in StudiLink is a rather simple process. It's good to know that you can select one of the three languages, Dutch, German, and English. For the sake of this video, we'll opt for English. Once you're selected your preferred language, you'll see that you have two login options, login with Dihide and login without Dihide. Dihide stands for digital identity. To log in with Dihide, you will need to be living in the Netherlands. For those who do not live in the Netherlands, you will then need to select the login without Dihide option. Also, if this is your first time registering in StudiLink, you'll need to create an account. It's simple. Just click on the Create StudiLink account without Dihide. For EU members, there's a straightforward way to create a StudiLink account. You can simply use your country's national authentication system by clicking on Login with EIDAS. Do note, not all countries are listed yet. However, more will be added throughout the year. If EIDAS is not available in your country or you're residing outside of the European Union, you will then need to verify your identity in another way when creating a StudiLink account. You can do this by uploading a scan or photo of your ID, for example, your passport or European identity card. The tool will read this digital copy of your ID and verify its legitimacy and completeness. If you hold two nationalities, you will have to select one. In the event that one of your nationalities is European, it is best to upload your European passport or identity card because it will be used for the calculation of your tuition fees. After this check has been successfully completed and your identity has been verified, you can proceed with creating your account. Here's an important point when creating an account. Use an email address that you'll have access to for duration of your studies here at Tilburg University in order to not miss any important information. Thus, the best tip here is to avoid using an email address from your previous school or university. Once you finish creating your account, you will receive an activation email. Once activated, you can start the actual registration. You will then start by adding your previous education. If you've not obtained your diploma, please select the No Not Yet option and fill each field that proceeds in completely. It's very important that you add all your previous secondary and higher education study programs, whether you've completed it or not. Failure to do so will result in you not receiving the email with the login details and the link to our application system. We will now proceed with choosing a study program. You will select the Add New Enrollment Application button. You will then fill Tilburg University as your educational institution, WO Bachelor if you're interested in a bachelor degree, or for those interested in a master, please do select WO Master. For the sake of this video, we'll select WO Bachelor. Once you've filled in educational institution and degree type, you can then fill in your program of choice. The exact name can be found on the admissions and applications section of your desired program webpage. In this case, we have chosen global law. Once you've found the program of choice, click select. Under the tab study program details, you can fill in your preferred type of enrollment. Here, you will need to select student. On the tab institutional questions, you'll need to answer an array of questions. Once you've answered all the questions, you'll need to ensure you did so correctly. Once you've done such, click Confirm. It is good to know that you can only have four active applications per academic year in StudiLink, of which two can be for numerous fixes programs. At the moment, Tilburg University only offer one numerous fixes program, which is the Bachelor Degree in Psychology. Now that you've completed your StudiLink registration, within 48 hours, you will receive two emails, one from the library and ID services with your student number and Tilburg University email address. This will be very handy for you to complete your enrollment. However, it's not necessary for your application. The second email, however, will be very useful for your application as it has all the login details for our application system called Osiris AdMelt. Check out the following videos if you'd like to learn more about the different systems you'll need for your application, or you simply like a step-by-step -step guide of our online application system.